Are you back? Oh, fuck, that was good. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. It's good. Yeah, it's really good, like it should. Wait. It's gonna go all I'm scared, the way down. I'm scared. Hi. What's up, Maddie? How you doing, baby? I'm chilling. What's up, boys? It's called the cocoon. It's like a recovery deal. It it vibrates like massages my back and legs while you sweat a little bit, you know? When you get into fight week, Matt, like Monday and Tuesday is almost like a regular training day. So Wednesday morning, we've committed ourselves to way more recovery than I normally do. I mean, I enjoy every single part of fight week because, Matt, you know, we only have a number of them, right? Eventually, there are no more fight weeks. And then what, you know? We now welcome former UFC heavyweight champion and number five ranked contender, Junior Dos Santos. This will be about the greatest heavyweights of all time. Where do you put your own achievements on that list of greatest ever heavyweights? Uh, yeah, well, I'm very proud of my career. I'm very, very, I'm very proud of, of, of uh, everything what I did on this sport. And uh, like they are saying, this guy, the, the winner uh, of Mio Chichi and Cormier will be the best UFC heavyweight ever, you know. Just for now, I agree with that. But just for now, maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe no. As soon as I get there, we'll change that. And then you're gonna be in that chair. Oh, yeah. Peace. Oh, what's up? What's How you guys up? doing? How you good. Doing? We now welcome the Jair Zeno Rosen Stewart. When you have a guy who's had so many of those big fights in his career, which ones do you look at in terms of just understanding who you're really ready for when you go out there on Saturday? Uh, I'm not looking the best. You know, Junior did a lot of things for the sport. I respect him for that. And I respect him as a opponent too. But um, I'm looking forward to what I want to do, where I want to be. Um, he's the man standing in the way. He's the man to take out. Thank you so much, Jerry. That's actually all the time we have for you, sir. All right. Have a nice day. Hey. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Good, dude. Yeah. How are you doing? You look great, dude. Yeah, you look you. awesome, man. Good to see you, brother. If I would have told you that you'd be coming up on your 15th UFC fight at 27 years old, you would have told me there's no way. How have you kept up that schedule and won most of the time while doing it? I just like to be active. When I make the run to become a UFC fighter, I was literally fighting every 50 days in South America. I was like, this is what I want. I want to be here. I want to be in the, in the big show, in the spotlight. So that's why I like to fight a lot because that's how you get things done. Hey, Cheetah, what do you think about this 25-foot octagon? What do you think? Uh, I like it, dude. If you will see in the octagon, I will fight before the UFC. Those fucking things were like, you throw a jab and you were already swinging because there was no, there was no place to go. So that's South American fighting. They, were, they put us in there to break our faces. And at the end of the day, dude, it's a fight. So just yeah. go in there yeah. and fucking let it go. Let's go, man. Well, uh, we wish you all the guys. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what did you say, Dom? I said you get me hyped up. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, guys, we have Sean coming in. Are you enjoying the process? Are you enjoying sort of the journey leading to your destination, the, the belt? You know, I remember at the beginning of this year, I wrote on my on my whiteboard, I said, you know, 3-0, 2020. So here it is. Um, I didn't expect it to be so fast. I think this is my you know third fight in, what, six months? So... Yeah, we we're on pace for four, but you know definitely not looking past Cheeto, and I and I know what what can happen in a fight. Is there anything that you give credit to him at all? Yeah, he's good at getting punched. Uh, I think that's what he does well. He's good at getting punched in the head and uh, he's not going out. You know, I think Diaz is kind of similar. They're they're good at getting punched and staying there. I don't hit dudes on the top of the head. I don't hit dudes on the forehead. I hit dudes in the chin, um, and that's where you knock someone out. So. The movement, the speed, where you're getting punched from, I feel like he's going to experience a lot of uh, a doubt in the first round when I'm hitting him with shots that he doesn't understand where they're coming from. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes. 
um, I gotta get something to open it with. You got a knife. I know he got a knife. And you look like you have a knife, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you carry a knife, Elliot. Yes. 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 This one. Oh yeah, <laughs> wait for this one, huh? I've been waiting for this one. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not big, but look. Oh yeah, you like that? Daniel Cormier Wrestling, AKA. Not too big, you don't want it too big. Oh yeah. Ooh, I like that. I'm just giving you a hug. I just don't trust you. But if I keep my hands I, up high, I just don't trust there's you. No mirrors what if I keep my hands I, high? I just, I, like I'll keep my hands I, high. I don't, I don't know. I'll, if keep, I I'll keep my hands high. I won't kiss you. Can't let him get the underhooks. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu, probably gonna do some Kung Fu. That's the most important thing to focus on for this fight. Now we're gonna do the same shit. We're gonna just get him moving. Obviously, it's a bit of work, a couple hugs, call it a day. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking cool, you know, the, the guy called me out, he wanted a little bit of me. That means, you know, he wanna take my spot. Uh, I'm prepared, I'm ready, and I'm, I'm ready to go to deep waters and, and have fucking fun, you know? Bleed, no bleed, tired, no tired, I'm ready to go, so. Saturday night, the, the cage is gonna be locked and I'm gonna let the fucking dog go. When you're in shape, you're not worried. Looking back, all the work was done. Good food, good recovery, hard work, so that's time for days, baby. When you're ready, you're fucking flying. Is that him? Oh, there he goes. And for the cameras, we got his opponent. <laughs> How many more days? Two more days? Two more days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm. Face down, ass up, baby. Just warm up, sweat, burn some calories, open up my lungs a little bit. Nothing too crazy. You know, I train so hard to go out there to fight for 15 minutes, so, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with the first-round knockouts because I love watching my fights back. You know, my last two fights were less than five minutes put together. I'm not gonna bite down on my mouth guard and, and go headshot for headshot with it. I don't get hit, I don't like to get hit. It's not the plan, I'm not gonna get hit. I mean, you look at him versus my skill. It's been big. And I'm just better. Body kick, three, two. Yeah. Double jab. Bum, bum. I saw Cheeto here tonight with both his striking coaches, and I think Perillo's putting a lot of false confidence in his mind. And if that's his game plan Saturday night to come strike with Sugar, he's going to get knocked out pretty quick. Yeah. Fastest motherfucker in the world. Baddest motherfucker in the world. Unfucking breakable. Boom. First round knockout, you can't complain. You know, if I knock him out in the second, third, doesn't matter. 